Nutrition facts have been lying to you, and here's why. I'm sure, like me, many of you use these labels to figure out the calories, protein, carbohydrates, and fats in the foods you are going to eat. But FDA regulations result in these commonly being fairly incorrect. The Food and Drug Administration allows a 20% margin of error on these nutrition labels for food producers. That means that, for example, a product that says it has 240 calories on the label could actually have 192 to 288 calories per serving. And while on a case-by-case -case basis it's pretty insignificant, it can add up, so pay attention to that. Additionally, you are probably also reading their serving sizes incorrectly. While food labels usually show a very easy to read measurement, as you can see here, a one and a half cup serving size, this isn't what the actual serving is that's reflected by the macronutrients below it. The nutrition facts below are actually determined by the weight in grams. What that means is, well, let's say you're using a dry measuring cup to measure how much food you are having. That amount is not accurate to these macros. The amount that is in a 20% range of these macros is the 208 grams. This is a big reason why bodybuilders like me use food scales to measure our stuff, especially when we're in season. So just be wary of misleading nutrition facts, and if you really want to be careful, grab a food scale. Like and follow for games.